Hi friends, welcome to the very first episode of Meme Math, a series of short videos where I take a random math topic and teach it to you through a meme. As you can see, in this episode, we're going to talk about L'Hopital's rule. Now, I could have picked a lot of different good memes to teach L'Hopital's rule, but I went with this one because in my experience, after calculus students learn L'Hopital's rule, they tend to forget anything else about limits. And so it's my hope that in doing a couple of examples, I'll show you when and how you can apply L'Hopital's rule, but also an example where you should not. Okay, take a look at the limit at the top. We have the limit as x approaches 3 of x squared minus 9 over x minus 3. This is a place where you can absolutely slap down L'Hopital's rule and uh, get the answer to this limit very easily. And here's why. The very first thing you should always try um, before you apply any method to finding a limit is direct substitution. Meaning, what happens when I sub 3 into these x's? I get 3 squared minus 9 over 3 minus 3, and that is 0 over 0 which is one of the many indeterminate forms where you can use L'Hopital's rule. I'm not going to go over all of the different forms where it can be applied, but 0 over 0 is one, and another one that is very common is infinity over infinity. So now that we know that we can use L'Hopital's rule, let's talk about how. We're going to rewrite the limit as x approaches 3. But we're going to do this really cool, easy thing where we take the derivative of the numerator, x squared minus 9, what's its derivative? 2x, right? Over the derivative of the denominator, x minus 3, what's the derivative of that? It's just 1. And then we use substitution again. 2 times 3 over 1 is 6. And there's the answer to your limit. And that's how you use L'Hopital's rule. If you get an indeterminate form where L'Hopital's rule can be applied, you take the derivative of the numerator over the derivative of the denominator and try to evaluate your limit with substitution again. There are even times where if you get an indeterminate form after taking the derivative of each part, um, you can just try another derivative. You try a second derivative until it works. All right. Now, let's talk about why we shouldn't always do this. You shouldn't always go straight to L'Hopital's rule. Take a look at the second limit. The limit as x approaches 0 of 2x over cosine of x. What happens when we use substitution? Okay, we get 2 times 0 in the numerator, so that will be 0. But we get cosine of 0 in the denominator, and that's 1. This is not an indeterminate form. 0 divided by 1 is defined, right? It's equal to 0. So first of all, you got your answer just by using substitution. That's the first reason you shouldn't use L'Hopital's rule. Second of all, if you did try L'Hopital's rule, think about what you would get. You would get 2 in the numerator, negative sine of x in the denominator. Subbing 0 into that would lead you to an undefined answer. Uh, so keep in mind that L'Hopital's rule is a really powerful tool for evaluating limits, and when it can be done, it's pretty awesome, but it can't always be applied, and how you determine whether you can apply it or not is by trying substitution first. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Join me again.